Hi everyone, welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Here we are back on the Spitfire with our pilot, Peter Calmly, uh, in Spitfire K9824. We have job number 3249. Get all the numbers out of the way, shred away. Um, intercepted a group of idiots attacking our shipping at Eastbourne. The lead got one, but they ran away before we could catch them. Check the pistons this time, I think I over the engine in pursuit. So check the pistons and the piston rings, refill the coolant, refuel the aircraft. Will do. Right. Alright, so let's start with getting all this off then. And it's a good job we um, took the skills that we did. This hopefully will help us uh, get this moved a lot quicker. So we'll probably have to drop the piston, so let's just get this out. Having never uh, taken um, the pistons out of uh, a Spitfire before, we'll uh, have a little bit of figuring things out as we go. Oh, somehow we managed to get ourselves buried into the wing. That's okay. Silly camera. Good, there we go. Do we need to take, remove this bit? Uh, probably not. We might be okay to get away with that. Right. So, we need to check the... Um, okay, how are we going to do this? We're going to probably have to... Mm, yeah, because on the, um, the Tiger Moth, we could drop the bottom, couldn't we, and uh, have a look underneath, but, um, yeah, let's get the ignition wires off first of all, and then have a li little look in, see what we can do, All right, how do we, oh, we got to take the top off, do we, uh, it's not letting me select that. There we go. Sometimes we won't let you select it, and you've just got to deselect it and uh, do something else, or, you know, go to assemble, then deassemble again, and uh, or disassemble, and it will work. So it's probably just a little glitch or something. Yeah, you're all saying, oh, daft, I wish you'd have taken that extra assistant to get three screws done at a time, but I think the skills we took with the um, checking the pistons and what was the other one? I can't remember now. I have to check our skills. Can we check our skills? Fire here. Inventory. Controls. No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's have a look. Look. Uh, we can check all the valves here. Rocket mechanism. Oh, that was it. Rocket mechanism and valves, wasn't it? So it's quicker to check. Do you know what? I thought it would be like car mechanic simulator where when we first inspect it. You know, 50% of them would all be um, checked already. Oh, that lovely sound. But yeah, you can see these are markedly quicker doing a quick check on these. Although I think we're going to need to pull these out to um, have a look at the pistons underneath. But we know they're all okay, which is grand. Let's just do a quick check of everything. Um, right, so how does one disassemble this? All the bolts in the world, right here, right now. Good job there's a war, not a war on me. We'd be here forever, but... It's weird, isn't it, when you think about all the mechanics during the Battle of Britain. For some reason, your mind always goes to refueling, rearming, and patching any bullet holes. You forget that there is, obviously, mechanical issues that they constantly need to maintenance and service and... Those people work so blooming hard. So hard. Right. Do we need to take these valves out? It's like rockets taking off. Ooh. It's quite jazzy. Um. Oh, okay. We need to take this off first. Yeah. Deselect that and select it. So you can deselect things just by hitting the right mouse button. And then hopefully, I've got to take the exhaust off, do we? Okay, I'll take the exhaust pipes off. Oh, I suppose that's going to, yeah, okay, fine. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay, we'll get that one quickly undone. And then, no, sir. 
No, sir. Distinctly American sounding accent, that. Suspiciously on an RAF base. Although they, they obviously did have Americans over here in the Eagle Squadron and all that jazz, but. Um, what next? We need to remove these. Get the fuel pump off. Get the coolants off. Blimey. Yeah, there's no quick job when you're looking at pistons, is there? Hey, it's not like the Tiger Moth, where it's relatively straightforward. No. Oh, good God. What is all this? I take it back. We should have got that third assistant. Crikey. Thankfully, all I have to do is colour them out, and um, it does it automatically. I've seen a lot of people saying, Oh, I'm not sure if I prefer the way they do the screws in this one, or the way they do it in Car Mechanic, where you have to do every one individually. For situations like this, I much prefer this, this um, paint and weight type system. Crikey, I can't even see where they're coming out there. Coming out there now. There. Wow. Crikey. Oh my goodness me. There's no other way of getting the cylinder block without, without getting this thing off. Crikey, right. So we need to get the upper ignition off. Blimey, this is complicated. Yeah, I don't think I could have been a mechanic, honest. <laughs> far too, far too complicated for me. Right, are we good? No, we've got one more thing. What have we got to get remove? Oh, the spark plugs. Okay. Somebody's now going to say, oh no, all you have to do, there's a little service hatch where you can just flip it down and have a look at all the pistons. Obviously they won't be, but I'm sure there'll be a better way of doing it than stripping the entire thing down. But, oh my goodness me, look at this. Right, we're all off with it. We've got to do the other side yet. Blimey. This might be the one job episode. Crikey. But that's good, it's fine. We don't want Peter to go out in a, um, a Spitfire where his engine can blow any second, so... And having played Cliffs of Dover, Isle 2 Storm of it, Cliffs of Dover, numerous times, I can honestly say I've over the engine um, and um, caused issues so many times. And they're fine, they're fine, they look fine. I suppose we need to check the piston rings. Uh, can we check the cylinder block? The cylinder block's fine. Here we go. Crikey. Is there a quick way of doing that? Fine, fine, fine. There's a, there, there's a, there's a damaged cylinder ring there, but they, those ones all look good. So if we remove that one. <laughs> all that for a cylinder ring. <laughs> or piston ring. Ah. Uh, well, that looks pretty sexy, all broken down and uh, did that go on? Yeah, I think so. Right, let's put all this back together. Right. There we go. Right. So a piston ring changed on that side. Everything else looked okay. They were already um, inspected in the colours, which was what I was expecting with the skill that we picked up last time. So that's good. So that saved us a lot of bother, didn't it? So straight away we saw the benefit of having that. That skill right there. We done? We done. Okay, let's... 
just put the valves back in. I, I'm, this is strangely therapeutic. Put the valves in. I like the uh, the visual and the uh, and the noise it makes. It feels a lot quicker building the damn thing than um, taking it apart. Right, uh, we won't put the ignition back on because obviously we need to do the other side, so that's all okay. We've got uh, a thing that goes in there we need to do. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah. Next one we'll definitely get an assistant, another assistant. Speed up the old mechanism. Right, we'll put the air compressor on. Put the fuel pump on. Was it the hydraulic pump? I didn't quite see what that said, but right. Um, yeah, I suppose we can put these on. To the early Spitfires with only three exhausts per side. See the glow of blue and yellow and the fuel um, rich, richnesses. Richnesses? Probably not very good English. Oh, you, oh they, they overlapped, are they? Okay, they overlap slightly, so you have to take the uh, front to back segment in that kind of order, which is fine. Yeah, the later ones, obviously, they had individual um, exhausts, not, not these big collectors like this. Uh, and the the bombers, obviously, because they were at night, and you do want to see the the yellow or the blue um, glow from the, uh, the exhaust. They used to have covers over them as well to hide hide that from German night fighters. Yep, for those of you who uh, don't know, there may be a slight bit of disruption to videos and stuff in the near um, future. We've just been hit by Storm Gareth. Yes frightening name for a storm, isn't it? I don't know who the hell names them. But yeah, Storm Gareth has just struck, and it's basically popped our electrics. Um, which means, uh, I'm in an old, I live in an old house anyway, so uh, the electrics have all been checked and stuff, and that was all done, and all the uh, all the consumer unit, it's all new. Um, well, it's about six months old now, but yeah, it's all been done, but unfortunately the, the storm popped them um, and they're, they're, it's because it's a new system. It's incredibly sensitive to even the the minor, minest, minorest of minor um, issues, and it will safety trip if it does that. So um, yeah, on the circuits, the sockets that is around the house, uh, that circuit is uh, for whatever reason tripping the board. So we've had to disable it, which means um, we've got half the, the house is obviously been oh because it's quite old. It's been um, expanded and um, developed over the years. Uh, so part of it, the old part of the house, uh, the electrics are working, and around the kitchen, um, they're all that's all new electrics around there. That's all working, but there's um, it's the sockets around the rest of the house that aren't, which is a bit of a bugger because it means we don't have any heating, um, uh, and of course it knocks the power out from my office, which means I've got uh, no internet, and more importantly, I've got no computers. So what I've done, I've run. Uh, extension cable from that part of the house to my office to get temporarily power to the computer so I can record and um, and to the, the terminate equipment and the router so I can have um, some internet um, but obviously it's not ideal but it, it, I've got the electrician coming in the next day um, also so hopefully hopefully he's gonna come today but he's um, I rang him up last night when it went off and um, if not he'll be here the day after so yeah, slight bit of disruption you may see, but that's um, due to the weather and the old nature of the property. So I do apologise for that. So this is a, <laughs> this is a customer announcement. Right, the joys of living in the country and uh, in a very old property. But I wouldn't change it for the world. All these modern houses where nothing goes wrong. Where's the fun in that, eh? Oh, don't don't get me started. But hey, uh, um, 
There we go. Again, just need to do unselect and reselect again, and it worked. It does that weirdly sometimes, but. Good, we'll get the, uh, get the valves out, take the top off, and we should be able to look at the pistons and the piston rings. And, um, oh, this hasn't taken, oh, well, it's taken a while, I'll grant you. We're, we're gone past the 15 minute mark, but, hell. I bet this kind of job took days, well, maybe at least a day. Even with some skilled engineers, which clearly I'm not one of them. Lovely. Yeah. Although this is great, I don't think this is going to give me the skills I need to apply to the um, the Battle of Britain Memorial team to uh, work on their no. Spitfires, Hurricanes and uh, Lancaster. Unlikely they'll accept that, to be fair. But uh, good fun nonetheless. Uh, a lot of people have um, said, oh, Taff, there's a new game coming out or it's in development, Tank Mechanic Simulator. We'll, World War II tanks and stuff. So, yep, I've got an eye on it. Um, I've uh, I've sent a request to the developer to see if uh, they have got any review keys and uh, see if we can get some stuff done, but um, nothing yet. So uh, they're probably still developing it, ready for release. So we won't bother them too much. But hopefully, oh look, we got piston gone there. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, we can have a look at that one. If not, I'll just I'll get it and we'll have a look. Right, take that off. Well, we know that piston's crunked. There we go. Three piston rings damaged there. Those ones look okay. That one's what. So it's, let's get these piston rings off first off. Um. Oh, we've got to take the piston rings off. No. Oh, come on. I don't have. I'm not a young man. I don't have super sensitive ability to do all these things. How's that? That. That's all looking good, right? He's flying around, burning fuel. As I say, I do like the signing for everything mechanic. I don't know why. It's something so simple, but I really like that. Um, hang on. Where did I take... Was it that one? Where's, which one hasn't got a piston ring? Oh, it's all those ones. All three of those are missing. There we go. I couldn't quite see. Again, old man eyes... I'm get, not getting any younger. All you young young gents and young ladies with all your superb eyesight. You lucky devils. Age will catch up with you one day. Right. I probably do need to go in and get some glasses, you know. But I'm, I can manage. I can still read. I know one of my eyes is slightly overpowering the other one now. Um, and you notice it, especially when you're driving at night and you're tired. Um, slight, slight blurriness around the edge, but still, still do the eye tests. Still, still do the uh, what would you call it? The reading the number plate from 200 yards, whatever it is. Yeah, so it's just not what it used to be. Yeah. Old age is cruel. Let me tell you, you young whippersnappers. <laughs> I'm saying that, well aware that there's some people watching this thinking, uh, Taff, I'm older than you, so shut up. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm 40 this year. 40. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm hopefully, if everything goes right and the computer plays up, uh, the electrics play up, uh, it's in June, my birthday, so um, hopefully we'll be live streaming very soon and then we'll have a big, I want to stream on my birthday and have a big um, day streaming and uh, I'm not even sure what. Day. It probably lands on a midweek, so I'll have to take the day off work, and then we'll just we'll just stream and have a chat and uh, and just chill out on my birthday. That'd be quite nice. And we'll get some uh, things together. So one of the things I wanted to do, something we haven't done for ages, is farming simulator. Um, very kindly gifted the game by uh, Andy, and uh, I've been. Uh, Checking that out, see what's new. This, a lot has changed since the uh, the previous one. It doesn't look like it on the surface, but the mechanics underneath have changed quite a bit, and it's um, yeah, I've been quite engaged with it to be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, one of the things I want to do is uh, get back to do some farming sim, and, and Andy, forever the fantastic supporter that he is, um, has a farm sim server which he's uh, 
very kindly said that we can all use, so we can all jump on and do some farm sim. I know that won't appeal to many people, oh, many people, well some people, obviously farming sim is, is huge these days, um, but it may not necessarily be your cu cup of tea, which is fine, but it'd be nice to get out one night a week, get some farming done, we can all join that and just chill out. It's like Euro Truck, it's one of those games that, although it may not be your go-to game for anything, it's just one of those games where you can just chill and relax to. I love, that's why I like farm sim and... And, and Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator, whichever one is, whichever flavour is your uh, preferred. They're just nice, chill out games, and you can just while away the hours. They're good fun. Uh, I got to that point where I was a bit burnt out on Farm Sim, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in to do some multiplayer again. You good fun. And it'd be nice to sort of play some games with you guys as well. So um, I'll try and figure out a, a schedule. You know what I'm like figuring out schedules and stuff. So we'll, we'll go. We'll go as we. Uh, I haven't put the um, spark plugs in. There's no point putting that in. Do we have any spark plugs in? I haven't checked these spark plugs, but I'm assuming they're all in good nick. Uh, spark. Yes, there are. They are good. You know what assumption of often makes? Right, let's get these in. Oh yeah, and just just as a bit, obviously I've just told you about the the power going out and uh, all the problems we've had since the storm, um, because the heating's not working. So we've got some uh, these kind of oil-fired radiators which run on electric, so they've got like electric uh, heating element in them. Which we've run some trailing sockets to uh, these oil radiators, and they they, they regulate the heat um, and their temperature, and they switch themselves off when they're they're up to temperature, and obviously they cool down and they reheat, uh, and they got like a little oil tank on them, so it keeps it keeps the heat in there. We got a couple of those spread out in the bedrooms for the girls, because um yeah, what's the one thing when all these disasters happen you don't want guests coming? Yeah, we had um my daughter's German exchange student arrive yesterday <laughs> and for us to say guess what we don't have any power or hot water or anything oh my goodness me thankfully thankfully um we managed to get uh, power into the um the immersion tank so we can heat the, the hot water tank via the electric which is uh, good normally it's done via the uh, the oil fired central heating um but that's not working at the moment because, uh, well, it is, we can get power to it, but we can't get power to the water pumps which move the water. It's a complicated system, anyway. Don't know why I'm telling you all this. I'm just trying to fill some time while we watch bolts get pushed in. So, yeah, that was fun. Bless her, she took it well. <laughs> Welcome to England. There's a storm on, and we don't. Was... Oh, man. But, yeah, we've we got hot water so we can have a shower, which is. You know, we've got the basics, which is the only thing. Which is the only good thing, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get some central heating back though. Had the fire, the open fire going as well, which you, we're quite fortunate we can get the fire lit and um, that puts some nice heat around the house. But oh man, <laughs> the joys, the joys of li living in an old property. If anybody has ever watched, um, one of the programs we like to watch is um, Escape to the Chateau or Chateau DIY. It's where these, these Brits and all these couples go to France and obviously buy old chateaus and renovate them into homes and businesses and stuff. Yeah, we, we do enjoy that and um, we can very much, although our house is not a chateau, uh, we very much have the same uh, old house problems that they do. So they just have it on a grander scale. And um, I, I hate to imagine the, the cost that they have to go through. Right, I'm sure we've got some spark plugs to put in here. Yeah, we do. You've got to have small hands, haven't you, to get um to get these in? Crikey! Uh, no, hang on. Oh, it's not gonna. Is it gonna? Where's the? Where's the sweet spot? Where's the sweet spot? Hang on, let's try from this angle. There we go. Uh, right, let's um, let's dis. Woo! Let's discombobulate from that and come over here. We'll just reset the camera so we can maybe get a better angle on the spark plug there. There's one there. There we go. 
So we can pop that on. Um, we've got the sparkies on this side. See, I'm not sure we we didn't connect the ignition wires, did we? Although it's saying it's there, you see, you can see they're not connected. Although it, it would allow us to put the side on, that's a bit weird. Ow. Camera's gone a bit loopy. It's like my dog in the wind. Why do dogs do that? You go out and it's absolutely the wind's going mad. Dogs go crazy as well. Something in their nature. Maybe it's just us. Maybe it's the poor thing live, having to live with me. That's putting it over the edge. That's 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 a very credible possibility. Oh no, didn't quite get that. Hang on. I can't. There we go. Right, and we'll hit, hitch that on. That's good. Right, we should have this support beam that needs to go on next. Uh, is that? Is that everything? Let's just hook this on. Crikey, this is... as I, I joked earlier that this could be a one-job episode. We've got the cowling and that's all we got left. Okay, so yeah, we should be good to go. Nice. Let's get this side cowling on. What would be nice is if we have the bomber and we have to paint on the um, the kill marks or any of the, um, the you know the bombs, and they do a sortie. Obviously, it would be nice if you had to paint on the uh, like a little iron cross if we shot if our pilot shot down an enemy fighter. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Just uh, it's a little superficial job to do, but I thought it'd be quite a fun thing to do. So you can live that experience with your uh, pilot. Right, let's get the fuel cap out. Pop that in there. Does it want us to do the oil as well? No, just coolants, okay. Top her up. Yeah, because what, what I did plan to do is um, do uh, a stream of this and we can maybe get, you know, a couple hours done and we can get really much through some of these jobs because, um, obviously, an episode about half an hour is probably about the right... Oh, God. I thought I was going to get hooked on the uh, propeller then. It's, it's about right for, for YouTube. Um, but, I, but I know, you know... I'm sure that there are people who want to just crack. Let's just crack on to Athens and uh, get through this and let's see the uh, the mozzie. Those boys flying around making noise. Right, there's me. A can of coolant. Here we go. Pop you in there. Hang on. Let's get this done. There we go. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All primary tasks complete. Excellent. Let's just um, put this lid back in then. Pop the hood down. Bip. There we go. And that is another Spitfire ready for service. Nice. Happy days. Pistons checked and rings. Refilled the coolant, yes. Refilled the aircraft, yes. Final result, perfect job, good. I always worry now that I'm going to miss something. Right, we're now marching up to 1,056. Um, we got to get another 400 and... Um, four, <laughs> 444. That was difficult for me from my... Br oh, no, uh, yeah, 444 to uh, to level up. My brain wasn't quite working on the maths there. Uh, we'll leave it there. Um, let's just have a quick look, see what we're doing next time. Okay, this is the next job. Replace the air tanks. What does this say? Tip. 
To clean the machine gun, first you need to remove the red gun port patch, then press space to clean it. Okay. Um, so we're here with Peter. Um, job 3251. Received intel about a large bombing road. Make sure that the machine guns won't jam in the air. So we need to replace the air tanks. Okay, let's let's. This sounds quite interesting. As the um, as I walk straight into the tip of the wing, which would really hurt. Uh, so let's get these patches off then, uh, and we'll uh, we'll give that a bit of a. Oh, there you go. We've got a, like a cleaning rod or something. It's a bit weird with the camera. I guess we put the patch on. There we go. That's not actually what our job was. Replace the air tanks. Okay. Right, okay. Um, so, it should be... Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Hang on, there we go. It should be... Is that the air tank there? No, that's the radio. Hang on, what's this? Let's get this... How, do we, how does one... Ah, that slides out. We'll get the radio out. I don't realise how big the radio was. Right, does that allow us to... Um, have a look in here. So what's... Ah, so what's... Hang on, let's have a look. That is... Not sure that... Ah, what are they? Air bottles, here they are. Okay, they're damaged. Let's um, get those air bottles out then. Take the bracket off and out she pops. Take that off. Take the bracket off and out she pops. Lovely. Um, let's just have another... Can we have a look in there? Can I get my... What I want to do is look that way and see if there's anything else we need to know. Right. I thought we'd do this one as it's night. It should be a relatively quick job. The, uh, the air tanks. Um, and we did it. We cleaned that gun because you know that's what the tip was, and I just wanted to try it out. Right, let's um, get these two air tanks in then. Oh, this camera's been a bit of a playing, playing a bit. Uh, we can't access it from the cockpit, can we? No. So this has got to be accessed through here. Although I'm having a bit of a. There we go. Clasp on, screw that in. Lovely, job done. Uh, now I need to get my head out. There we go. Put the radio back in. Put the battery in. And uh, secure it away. Good. Um, well, that was a quick job, so we <laughs> it's always nice to get a quick job done if it's done. Right! Job 3251. Done. Place the air tanks. That was a nice easy one, wasn't it? You probably won't get many points for that. Only 30. Um, as it's quite a simple job. Right. Um, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. More me plane mechanic simulator coming your way soon. As I say, a couple of videos. Hopefully until we get the power fully restored to the house and everything working. Um, of course, that knocks out the router and all the fibre and everything pain in the backside but I will try and do my best to keep the videos coming in these difficult times and uh, thank you ever so much for your patience while uh, I sort this issue out right we'll leave it there as I said thank you ever so much for watching hit that thumbs up if you want to see some more make sure to hit the subscribe and tickle the bell next to it to get all the latest videos into your video feed and I will see you bright and breezy for the next one I'll see you then